Hi, I'm Cliff, and this is my garage, and I'm having a little problem with my Porsche Cayman. <laughs> The question is, is it the battery, is it the alternator, or is it the starter? I'm going to show you how to figure that out with just a simple multimeter. Hey. Welcome back to The Garage, and if this is your first time joining me, thanks for dropping by. First off, thank you to the 40 or 50 people, maybe even 60 people, that have subscribed to the channel in the last few weeks. You pushed us over 800, I think we're in the 820s now. That is awesome. Thank you for subscribing, and to all of you, thank you for watching, liking, and sharing my videos. This has just been an awesome experience. So. As always, thank you so very, very much. As you saw in that video clip a minute ago, the Cayman has started cranking really, really slowly. And so the question is, what is the problem? It could just be the battery is getting old and worn out and needs to be replaced. On the other hand, it could be that the alternator has started wearing out, not putting enough charge on the battery and not charging it correctly. The third possibility is that the starter itself is going bad, and that's the reason it's cranking slowly, is it's just not working right anymore. We don't need to spend a lot of money or send it to a mechanic to figure out the problem. We can probably figure it out ourselves by just using a simple multimeter to measure a few things. Now, this is a fairly nice fluke multimeter. It uh, costs uh, about $90, $95. It's a decent multimeter. It's not an expensive multimeter. Expensive multimeters run hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Now, you don't even need one this nice to do these tests that we're talking about. Here is a, a simple, uh, what is this, commercial electric brand multimeter that I picked up at Home Depot for about uh, 30 bucks. And for mm, some jobs and other circumstances, this is not a very good multimeter. But for this, a cheap multimeter is going to work just fine. The first test we're going to do is we're going to measure the battery's resting voltage. And by resting voltage, I mean that it, we haven't just turned the car off. The car has been sitting here for several hours now, and that gives the, char the charge on the battery to settle down, and we can see where its normal resting state is. Turn on our multimeter and turn on the backlight. Let it settle down, and we're going to take and put our probes onto the battery terminals, and we see 12.06 volts. Okay, that's not good. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, well, a car is a 12 volt system. Why would reading 12 volts on the battery be bad? Well, it's because a battery, a good battery in good condition, should actually be reading a little higher than 12 volts. Typically what you'll see is the target is 12.6 volts. The funny thing about batteries in terms of their cranking power is that it's kind of a, an exponential curve. 12.0 uh, is not a little bit less than 12.6. It's a lot less than 12.6. In fact, 12.6 volts is considered to be a fully charged battery. 12.2 volts is considered to already be half dead. So we definitely have a bad situation with only seeing 12 volts on the system or out of the battery. So the next question we need to answer is, well, why is the battery only at 12.06 volts? And we do that by starting up the engine and then reading the battery terminals when the engine is running and the alternator is actually charging the system. Now, with the engine running, let's check it again. And we're seeing 13, we're right at 14 volts. And that's good. You want to see around 14 volts when the engine first starts. 14 to 15 volts. When a car's alternator first starts up, it sends a higher surge of power in the startup portion. And then later on, you'd see this drop off 
to maybe 13 and a half volts. But we're here at 14 volts and that's good. So that tells us the alternator is working fine. There's no problem with the alternator. All right, so the final step is we try and jump start the car. We start up the Hummer and do this right away so that the alternator is doing max output. And now we give the Cayman a try with the boosted battery. So much better. Okay, so that tells me that the starter is fine. When given a good power source, the, pa the uh, starter turned right over. So it looks like our problem is the battery. It's the battery, which is really good because of our three possibilities, that is the least expensive and the easiest to fix and really great timing. I went to find the battery at the Advanced Auto Parts website and I saw that Advanced Auto has sent me an email. Now they send me discount codes all the time and they're usually about five to 10%, nothing to get real excited about. But this one was for Father's Day and it was 25% off. So I got a brand new, their top of the line battery, normally 200 bucks, I only paid $150. So I'm pretty darn happy about that. I'm gonna do the battery swap in a separate video because I do it differently from anybody else that I know because if you don't do the battery swap right in a modern car then you can kind of screw things up you can well you can mess things up and the way I do a battery swap there's no danger of that so go check out that other video it should get posted very soon after I post this one and once I post the other one I'll include a link to the new video up you know over here somewhere and it'll also put it in the end cards at the end of the video to make it nice and easy to click on as always thank you for watching and also thank you for liking and sharing my videos and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet hey go ahead and do that it only takes a little click and while you're at it go ahead and click on the little bell icon that turns on youtube's notification system for this channel and that way you'll get notified every time that i post new content from here in cliff's garage i'll see you next time later that same evening